that I have written to the ACCC and later today I'll be sending that letter and these products to them for their investigation. This involves Coles, right? This is Coles. They have introduced a new line of product <coughs> bread called Cuisine Royale. R-O-Y-A-L-E. It's not in every store yet, but it's in many. It is products that has the cold label on it. Uh, it's upmarket bread. It's not your dollar a loaf, so it can be three or four dollars. It's got on the front of it, baked today, sold today. Yep. On the back of it, when you have a look at it, it gives the ingredients. This is a sourdough product, and it then again repeats, freshly baked, in-store, Coles Bakery. There are approximately 6,000 containers of loaves, muffins, breadsticks being imported by Coles, products sold through very smart display units in their stores around the country now. All of this product, for you mums and dads out there who shop at Coles, is imported from Ireland. The whole lot of it. What they're trying to do is force the price down by those who make the bread or the muffins or the breadsticks here in Australia. If the people can't afford to reduce their margins, they will lose volume and they will go out of business. Coles further support this product with a brochure, which I have here for you, where they talk Cuisine about... Cuisine Royale, it's called. Cuisine Royale. Our master bakers use ethically sourced ingredients to create a fusion of, and off they go. Well, they might. On the back, they say, made with French flour for a crisp golden crust with a soft interior crumb. We only use flour from the Paris Basin. There is nowhere in this brochure that I can see that indicates that these products are made in Ireland. Well, I, I, now, can I just explain, because it does say on the front, you're quite right, baked today, sold today, and on the back there's a sticker on it, freshly baked in store, Coles Bakery. In very, very small print down the bottom of that it says, made in Ireland. That is absolutely correct. And that, I asked you to have a look at this before, you couldn't read it, it was so small, you had to put the glasses on, yep. and there is the small word, so they are technically correct in terms of labelling by indicating these are from overseas. I submit to you and to our listeners that when you go into a Coles store and you see a Coles product that says uh, baked today, sold today, you think that is a Coles product? Freshly baked in Freshly store. Baked, absolutely. You don't read the ingredients <coughs> and your eyesight won't allow you to unless you have very strong glasses. This is a con and this is what's happening to a manufacturing right around Australia at the moment. I have sufficient evidence from a number of industries where coals, because they can buy products cheaper overseas, they say they support Australian manufacturing. They do not. They're driving them out of the country. So the things that have happened with Heinz and every other manufacturing company, we run the risk in five years of not having any food manufacturers left because, Neil, no one is going to invest in new technology, new plant and new equipment. I've written to the ACCC. I've asked them to have a look at Coles in terms of this predatory work. What, in terms of the advertising? No, no, well that's the second part. The yeah. most important is how they use their muscle to force existing manufacturers to the wall. And that is what is happening.